What experiment are we doing today? So today we're going to be looking at sound and how we can change the pitch and the volume of uh, instruments that we're going to make from everyday household objects. What equipment do we need? So today we have three tubs worth of equipment. Um, our first tray is use of little plastic tubs that you can buy from any sort of retailer or takeaway tubs, which we hope that they'll make guitars with by using the elastic bands. So that's our first tray. Our second tray is uh, empty plastic bottles and use of various weighted yeah. items such as lentils and beans. So they're different densities and different sizes and weights that uh, the children will be able to make with. Yeah. And our third tray is the use of tuning forks. When the children bang it, they can experiment with how it sounds and the difference in pitch and volume. Right, and where do you get these from? Uh, these you'll find in most schools because you have to have them as part of your music department. So it's so that they can tune glockenspiels and guitars. So most schools will have these readily available. Yeah. What are the health and safety issues that you need to consider? The tuning fork, it's quite heavy, it's metal, so when the children are using them and they are hitting them on the table, we'll make sure they're not flinging them in someone's eye or hitting someone around them. We also need to consider the use of things like the beans or the wheat, because if they go all over the floor, we might have a slip risk, so we have to make sure that children are using them within the space that we've given. Uh, we also need to consider autistic children because actually a lot of them have tendencies to be really wary of sound, especially loud sounds. So in that case, we identify an area where they might struggle and we might take them out and support them in a way in a smaller group, so, but they are still able to access the lesson. And the way that we do science here is we use lab coats and goggles as well to bring up the profile of science, make it really special. So that's what we would do, but it's not needed in terms of a health and safety aspect. So what are the important teaching points that come out of these experiments? For in this lesson, it's more about the children's observations and what they're able to draw from the lesson. So they're able to look, they're able to experiment on their own without me telling what, them what they need to do and that they're able to draw their own conclusions. And you might slip in the odd word, you know, uh, science word like pitch or volume. But other than that, they are the ones that have investigated. They are the ones that have created the resources, the materials, and therefore they are the ones that have got something meaningful out of it.